I'm Sue and we have our business Rhubarb Rhubarb Organics and we're located in the Preston Market. We have a thriving cafe and fruit and veggie business and also organic groceries. Sustainability is um, something that's always been really important to us and um, a main reason that we started this business in the first place. My name's Sam and I am from Moon Rabbit Cafe in Preston. We are a social enterprise cafe. All profits from the cafe go back into underfunded community programs. We believe that as a community we can really all work together to change our behaviours and change our habits to reduce our footprint on the environment. So my name's Hirini, I run the Northcote Bake Shop. We want to be a part of you know, the bigger picture in terms of sustainability. Uh, we want to make an impact. We want to be sustainable in the future. You know, we want to have these things for you know, our children as well to enjoy. I'm Justin Siriani. I'm the owner of the Outer Circle Social Club. We're here on the corner of Christmas and Arthur Street in Fairfield. Our general philosophy towards sustainability is to just do what we can where we can. We're fully aware that we're not going to change the world overnight, but we're just trying to do a little bit at a time. Customers are actively seeking out businesses that act this way, um, and they're deciding on where to patronise based on these behaviours. They're people who are making those choices every day in their purchasing and in their lifestyles. You know, there are going to be customers who don't agree with us, but the majority of people, you know, have a really good understanding. They also assist us in also um, improving our business to be sustainable. They pass on their sustainable behaviours, so they're, they're also acting sustainably through, through us and through other local businesses. If someone comes in and picks up a bucket of compost, they're probably most likely going to buy a latte and there's uh, two customers that we never had before. It's actually good for business. We focus in, on a few different areas, our food waste, um, our consumables and our supply chain. Um, so in terms of our food waste, um, nothing goes um, into landfill at all. We've got eight different categories that our waste is sorted into daily. We have three worm farms set out the back. There are businesses that will come and collect your compost, collect your coffee grounds. The Share Waste Program, which is essentially a um, community of composters, home composters, businesses as well, they'll come and pick up the coffee grinds or your kitchen waste and use it in their compost. to consumables, we have no coffee cups, no straws, no paper napkins, um, no plastic water bottles. We recognise there's concerns around cafes in the market providing cups, their own cups for customers, but we've found that we really haven't lost many. We also are part of the Wangham Cup project, so they can, if they want to have a takeaway coffee, they can have it in a uh, Wangham Cup. The Keep Cups were provided by Darren City Council. No financial outlay. They can either take it and keep it themselves and reuse it, or give it back to us and, and we'll wash it for them. So instead of getting our coffee delivered in one kilo bags, we were going through, you know, 40 kilo bags at a time. Uh, we now get it delivered in five kilo bags and we're now trying to get a secondary use for those five kilo bags so I think they're going to become our bin liners for the, the bathrooms and things like that. We're always looking at creative ways of reducing waste so for example we reuse the empty bonsoi containers to make a coffee tray. What motivates us the most I think is how quickly our community do embrace the changes that we make and 
um, other local organisations and our suppliers who really do work with us and respond very quickly to change. Businesses can really um, help suppliers um, make the decisions of how they want to package their products. Our customers want products that are in sustainable packaging. And that can really affect the way our distributors do business as well because we say to them, please, you know, please consider this when you're talking to the people that are making the products. Our coffee comes from Brunswick. Our bread supply is Northcote Bake Shop, which is five minutes down the road. We're boosting up other businesses who will in turn help us. So it's a nice little ecosystem that we're building here. Our roof is pretty much a perfect orientation for solar power. Um, and I knew in my mind I was gonna install a pretty thirsty coffee machine. So I needed that, that wattage to get it done. The roof was replaced with a new roof, which is a light colored color bond. Um, a bit of insulation under there as well. We um, thought about those things uh, in terms of the build and the, the development of the new shop. We worked with a designer, Megan at Brave New Eco, who was, that's a big focus of her business as well. Um, we installed all LED lights. We were really conscious of how we set up our cafe in terms of waste and water. We've installed these panels above the um, fruit and veggie to make the area stay a bit cooler. For other businesses who are wanting to keep pushing forward with sustainability uh, initiatives, I would say to really get talking to businesses surrounding you in different industries as well, not just the ones in the same industry, and really just start to look at your daily operations. It all started with me talking to one person at the Darabin Council and it just escalated from there and you know I've got so many things in practice now. We started in a small stall in the market 21 years ago. Now we've got 22 staff. We've been here for just about two years now and we, we've got probably like 10, 10 staff now. We've grown to about 10 staff. You know, it's been a really amazing journey and, and great business decision to have a sustainable business and grow it.